babies, it's Michaela, and I'm back again with another video. So this is basically my third unboxing on this channel. I did unbox my phone, my iPad, and Apple Pencil, and now I'll be unboxing my new MacBook Air 13-inch in space gray. A little backstory, I'm not gonna hold you up, so you don't gotta skip forward, okay? I promise I'll be quick. If you guys are new to my channel, I am a college student. I'm a college freshman. I recently bought an iPad and Apple Pencil for school because I am a paperless student, so I do use my iPad and Apple Pencil for my note-taking, my textbooks, and studying purposes. But you know, every college student needs a laptop. That's just standard. My mom did order me a MacBook Air for school. We did order it literally the day before I moved into school so you know obviously it took long to come. So I did go about a week and a half with just my iPad for school and it's been working perfectly fine but you know still need a computer at the end of the day and I'm hoping that this computer lasts me all throughout college so it really 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 is an investment. So before we get into the unboxing I just want to say thank you, thank you, Thank you to my dear, dear mother. She did purchase my MacBook for me as a graduation gift. You already know I'm so appreciative of you always, always, always and forever. So yes, thank you, mommy. I love you so much. Here is the package. So it's probably gonna be super awkward because you know I don't have a desk with me. I really could honestly waited to unbox this when I got back on campus because I am home for the weekend, but I could not wait. Like I am fiending. I've never had my own computer before. I've always shared computers with my mom or like family. I've never had my own computer. So this is super, super exciting. So here's the tab. I'm just gonna pull that one. I know it's upside down. Let me flip it over. Here it is. The MacBook Air. I'm just going to pull it out. Woo! So here is my MacBook Air in space gray. I did get the 256 gigabyte version. Here is that silver Apple logo. MacBook Air. Apple logo, MacBook Air. I got the i3 processor and I did get the lowest processor and the cheapest possible MacBook Air that you can get. I won't be relying on my computer solely for school. I do have an iPad that has 128 gigabytes, I think, that I use for like note taking and things. So I really didn't think that I really needed my MacBook to do that many tasks, you know? Like I'm not just using my MacBook for school and that's it. I have another device that I'm using it on. So I just felt like it was unnecessary to get a processor any higher than the i3 and memory any higher than eight gigabyte. Here's the Keely tab. So here she is. She is so sleek and so gorgeous. So before we get into that, you know, gotta go through the contents of the box. Pamphlets, Apple stickers, charger, and box. And that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna take it out of the plastic. She's turning on already. So let's take the stain protector off. Wow. This is exciting. This is exciting. Okay. 
So, English, English is the main language. Press the return key. So, language English. United States. A lot of the touchpad feels so good. Okay, I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, data and privacy. I'm gonna hit continue. Do you want to transfer your information? Don't transfer any information now. Um, Apple ID. It sent the verification codes on my iPad, so I'm gonna put that in. Terms and conditions, I agree. Create a computer account. I love how small and compact it is. Like, it's really, really little. Okay, find mine, continue. Express setup, continue. Analytics, oh, share with app developers, continue, screen time, I'll set it up later, oh no, continue, Siri, continue, hey Siri, hey Siri, open the documents folder, hey Siri, show my downloads, hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? Okay, hey Siri is ready. Continue. Um, not now. Okay, all your files and portals in iCloud. Continue. File vault disk encryption. I have no idea what that is. But it's checked already, so I'm going to press continue. Touch ID. Use your fingerprint to unlock your Mac and make purchases with Apple Pay. Start by placing your finger or thumb on Touch ID. Okay. Touch ID is ready. Apple Pay. I will do this later. Choose your look. Light, dark, or auto. Dark, of course. True tone display. Let's see without true tone display. Ew. Definitely keep the true tone display. Setting up your Mac. Okay. It looks like we're all set up basically i'm going to put on my accessories because you know i'm good for accessories i'm gonna just show you guys what i got for my computer so the first thing i got is this case for it it comes with a case a screen protector and like a keyboard cover i also got a sleeve so that you know extra protection basically and this is really small and minor but it is a webcam cover Hey y'all, so welcome back. It is day two. As I was about to put the case and accessories onto my computer, I realized that I got the wrong size. I was very, very disappointed because I had ordered these accessories way before I even got my computer. I ordered it towards the end of July and I didn't get my computer till September. I reordered the same case in the right size this time off the of amazon last night and for some reason amazon had free next day delivery so i was like <laughs> god that is god right there i'm telling you because next day shipping for free i've never seen that before this is the package that came today so i'm just gonna open it for you guys Looks like it's from the same exact company. This is the um, older model case, and this is the newer model case. And you can even see that size difference. This is the case that I got. It comes with the top covering, the bottom covering, the keyboard sleeve, and a screen protector. So that's in this package. And 
I think I showed you guys before, but I did get a sleeve for it. It's the same print as the MacBook case. Marble, because I'm in love with marble. Um, it has this padding in it. It's very, very padded and it's furry. So it's just going to keep my things really protected in there. And I also got the one that comes with a zipper. If you go on Amazon, there's also one that comes with no zipper. If you just want the, you know, nice slick um, sleeve without the zipper, you can get that. But I wanted the zipper so that I can put everything I need in here. So um, if you're worried about like aesthetic purposes, you can like kind of conceal the zipper a little bit. It was It was concealed way better when I first opened it. But I don't know if you guys could tell, but if I really wanted to like conceal the zipper, I can tuck it in there if that's what you're worried about, like the zipper hanging. But I don't really mind it. Um, so I got this extra slot so I can fit all my things in there. So right now I have my phone charger in here. I had my iPad charger in here at one point, but I was charging my iPad, so I took it out. So in this case, it has like little slot i'm pretty sure you can fit a portable charger in here i do have a portable charger that i'll probably put in there when i'm like running errands with my computer and stuff but you can fit um like a portable charger some pencils and pens there are pencil slots i don't know if you guys can see those two pencil slots right there and there's also another pocket that you can put whatever you want i was very surprised to find out that i can actually fit my entire ipad in here i can also put my apple pencil in there my airpod case can fit in there and both of my charges can fit in there. The computer charger is out there, but I promise you it fits as well as the iPad charger and my phone charger. And my phone can even fit in here. So if I zip it all up, here it is. Everything fits very nicely. And I'm just gonna stick my computer in there. You guys can see, zip it up nicely. And everything perfectly fitting in the case. Everything that I need for school fits right in this case. I think I did enough talking. Those are the accessories that I got for it. And let's just get right into opening the case. Okay, yeah, so this is basically it. I have all my accessories on my MacBook. So I just have this cute, you know, baby pink aesthetic um, collage background on my computer. One of the things that I did was added this little sticky note. So that if I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a little sticky note up here that says Michaela's MacBook. I didn't have anything to write on it. To actually write on it so i just wrote michaela's macbook on there but it's a pink little sticky note you know it's really really cute when i decide to write things on it then i'll have you know things to write on it i also did my accent colors my accent colors are pink i don't know if you guys can see that i just clicked on some stickies and it's highlighting in pink apple logo is pink file um edit 
I don't know if you guys could see the pink popping up. So it would usually be blue, I think, but I did pink because pink is in the background of my um, computer. So I just thought it made the most sense. And pink is also my favorite color. Another thing that I did was the hot corners. I did all four corners. My top left puts the screensaver on so you guys can see the time. It is now... Oh wow, the time just changed. It's 1.26 p.m. So I have the analog digital clock as my lock screen. When I go to the top right corner, my notification bar pops up in my bottom left corner. It locks my computer and tells me to put my password in or touch ID. And the lower right corner just pops up the dock. Okay, my baby, so we have finally made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in my next video. So I just want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you. Bye. Bye.